What's going on guys, Matthew Monas here, and in my hands I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and the Sony Xperia XZ2 Premium. Two great smartphones with two sets of fantastic cameras. The way this is going to work is very simple. This is a camera comparison. Everything in this video is shot on pro mode or manual mode unless stated otherwise. ISO, white balance, all that other stuff is left on auto. So which one has the better camera? Let's find out. The first picture was taken around 6.30 to 7 o'clock at night. I think the XZ2 Premium has a more pleasing photo. You see a lot more detail. However, it does blow out the highlights in the sky. You can see the clouds more with the Galaxy Note 9 than you can with the XZ2. Also, shadows on the Note 9, much too dark. If you look below the crane, it's completely black, whereas on the XZ2 Premium, you can see everything. Same holds true for the trees in the background. You can see the leaves with the XZ2, but they're pretty much non-existent with the Note 9. Next up, we have a picture of flowers, and this was taken around 8 o'clock in the morning, so the sun's not too strong. The XZ2 Premium, again, looks a lot more natural, whereas the Galaxy Note 9 tends to lean towards a warmer tone. I personally like the way the Note 9 looks better, but if you prefer a natural look, then you're going to like the XZ2 Premium better. So again, we have the exact same photo, but this time with HDR on. You can see both cameras punched up the colors. They look a lot more vibrant. You can see the details in the shadow better. But again, warm tone with the Galaxy Note 9, a very natural one with the XZ2 Premium. So this photo was taken around 5 p.m. Both phones did a great job of exposing the scenery. I do think you get more detail in the sky with the XZ2 Premium. You can see the clouds a little bit better, whereas on the Galaxy Note 9, the highlights are slightly too high. Again, Note 9, a little too dark on the shadows. You can see that on the side of the building. And if you look at the car, you can see more detail with the XZ2 Premium compared to the Note 9. Note 9, again, leaning towards a warmer tone. You do get slightly more punchier colors, whereas the XZ2 Premium is sticking with more natural ones. Next up, we have a photo taken around eight o'clock at night. The sun is setting. I think these are both very interesting. The foreground is a lot more visible with the XZ2 Premium. You can see more details in the tree. The grass looks a lot cleaner, but the sky, the highlights are too high and the sun is completely blown out. Whereas on the Note 9, you have dark shadows in the front, removing some of that details from the tree, but the sun and the sky look much better. You can actually see the sun compared to the XZ2 Premium. Now it's time to talk about low light. XZ2 Premium, you can see there's a lot more noise when taking the photo, and that's because it has a lower aperture. That f1.5 aperture on the Galaxy Note 9 makes a big difference. If you look at the subjects in the background, it's a lot more grainier on the XZ2 Premium, meaning it has to bump up the ISO to compensate for its lower aperture. Whereas on the Galaxy Note 9, because it has that f1.5, it is able to get more detail in the background. I definitely think the Note 9 did a better job in this situation. So again, we have another low light photo. This time I turn on ultra sensitive mode with the XZ2 Premium. I think the XZ2 Premium did a better job of capturing details. You can see that in my shirt, you can see that in my beard, and you can see that on the couch behind my back. But the Galaxy Note 9 did a better job of exposing the picture. It was able to control the light source on my cheek much better than the XZ2 Premium. And the last low light photo is in a movie theater. I just wanted to shoot some lights to see which one did a better job. And just like the other two photos, XZ2 Premium bumping up that ISO to compensate, giving you a more of a warm tone to it. Note 9, slightly over sharpened, cleaner picture, a little bit more visually appealing. Now it's time to talk portrait mode. Live focus on the Galaxy Note 9. And as you can see here, again, leaning towards those warmer tones, highlights are completely blown out on my shoulder, slightly overexposed on the side of my face. I do think the blur in the background looks slightly unnatural compared to the XZ2 Premium, but you do get more of a natural photo with the XZ2 Premium. And I also see a more clear image as well. Looks a little bit sharper, looks a little bit more clean. For the front facing camera, you're gonna get a wider shot with the XZ2 Premium. I also think it did a better job of picking up all the small details. You can actually see the little white felt on my shirt, whereas on the Note 9, it's not clear at all. Face highlights are kind of blown out on the cheeks compared to the XZ2 Premium, but again, Note 9 is leaning towards a warmer tone and the XZ2 Premium towards a natural one. And finally, we have 4K video. Steady Shot, which is software based on the XZ2 Premium, does a pretty good job of stabilizing the footage, but obviously it's nothing compared to having optical image stabilization like you do on the Galaxy Note 9. In terms of first looks, I definitely think the Note 9 looks more visually appealing, but you do have that HDR mode, which is on right now for the XZ2 Premium. So that pretty much wraps up this camera comparison. They both have their little advantages. The XZ2 Premium is giving you a more natural look. The Note 9 is 
leaning towards warmer tones and a little bit more vibrant colors. Video, pretty even, but you do get better optical image stabilization with the Note 9 and low light. Having that f1.5 is very nice comparing to have to crank up the ISO like you do with the XZ2 Premium. Anyways, I want to hear what you guys think. Which one do you think takes the better pictures? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, hit me up on Discord. Follow me on Instagram from behind the scenes. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.